So we're here, the start of the season, Gaspar. <laughs> um, is your first first game as a manager in the season? If that makes sense, how are you feeling? Yeah, super excited. Can't wait to, um, for the real stuff to kick off. It's been a good pre-season. We've had some good games, but there's nothing better than first game of the season in front of your home crowd. Hopefully there's a, there's a boss crowd in and um, good numbers and cheering us all on and, and we get a good performance and, a, and an even better result. Yeah, how much of a difference does it make starting the season at home? Yeah, good. It just gives you the first opportunity to try and get points on the board. Obviously, the onus is on us to try and take the game to Barnsley and try and create a tempo because we're the home team and that's exactly what we'll do. So, good opportunity for us to get off the mark and, and hopefully we'll say we can play well and, and we can do that. It feels like a proper milestone first game of the season because you know the fixtures have been out for a month or so. Everybody's looking at that first game. It's all the chat, isn't it, when the fixture gets released? Oh, who have we got first? Yeah. Um, whereas in reality, you could not get a good result in the first game of the season but then go on and have a great run <laughs> like we did last season. Yeah. But how much importance do you put on getting a positive start? Yeah, it's, look, it's like any other game. It's not the be-all and end-all if we don't win a game of football. But... It's the first game of the season, everyone's excited, we've worked so hard in the pre-season to be organised, so we hope that we're going to know what we're doing um, with the ball and without the ball, that'll be a good sign if we can see that from the players. Um, and I'd say everyone is, is keen to get off to a good start, but as you've seen last year, we, we had a poor performance really at Rotherham and got beat, deservedly so, and after that we went 17 games unbeaten or whatever it was, so we don't overemphasize any result, but we're, you know, we're, we're keen to to start and get the excitement and the buzz going right from the very off. You mentioned things that you hope to see from players that you've been working on and will it actually come to fruition but we've been pretty, well you've been pretty positive as well after every pre-season match that we played that you're seeing the signs that you've been working on and stuff's getting in and even last season as well it was a, it was a similar trend. Confident I presume that that will, will carry on again and you will, your message is getting across. Yeah it's um I say it's, it's been a good pre-season, we've got out of it what we wanted to, we wanted to um, obviously get the players fit and, and up to speed as, as best as possible and I think we've done that, the lads look as though they're in good shape and um, all the distances that we've been covering in the pre-season games are where we need them to be so that's good. Uh, I wanted to have a variation of how we're going to play so um, we know how, how our three-five-two system works and now we've had a, had a look at uh, what a three-four-three system looks like so that's been positive. I wanted to strengthen the team over the summer, and we've done that. So, good recruitment summer. I, I, I feel, I think, you know, highlighting players early on, which is so Jimmy Dickinson's now. Uh, You'll take all the credit. Uh, you know, well, he's not going to take all the credit, but you know, <laughs> yeah. highlighting the players, putting the presentations together, like he's done really well. Um, me going to present the, the presentations to the players over Zoom calls and meetings. We feel as though we worked really hard, and we're pleased with the recruits that we brought in. So. All that's good now it's the real way it kicks in and, and we see where we're at. And let, let's talk about Saturday then and Barnsley, you know, it's a side relegated from the championship last season, so maybe a bit more of an unknown than it would have been against a side that we, we kind of played against mm -hmm. last year. How how strong are they looking? How you know, how how do you feel the game will go? What what are you thinking about then? Well, I know it'll be a tough game because if you remember Rotherham were at um Rotherham got relegated from the championship. Uh, this is a pre-match test. Pre -match test. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Right. Pre-match test is pre -match working. Pre-match test is working. That's Spot good. On. So that's good. <laughs> We're ready to go. Um, yeah, so Rotherham obviously got relegated from the championship and had virtually a whole team that had played in the championship the year before. And on the day, um, they were just too strong for us. So... You know, we we know that we're going to be in for a tough test against Barnsley. They've got loads of players that were there last season. Um, so I'm sure they've got a point to prove. They're coming down a division in League One and will want to show that they're one of the strongest teams in the division, which I'm sure they will be. They've got a new manager mm. that they're all going to be wanting to impress. So it's not going to be an easy game, but I don't think any of our games in the first, whatever, mm. first few months are easy. So it's just another one. We'll have to be right. We'll have to give it our best. and. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully we come out of it on the right side of the result. Yeah, you mentioned the new manager, Michael Duff, obviously has gone in, did a great job at, at Cheltenham last season, kind of solidifying them in this league. You're looking forward to going up against another g guy like that that you know quite well? Yeah, I, I know Michael Duff quite well. We get on quite well. He's a, he's a great lad. Um, I think he's done a brilliant job at Cheltenham and he was probably ready for the next step in his managerial career. And he's got an opportunity at a very big club in, in Barnsley. And, 
he'll go there, it'll probably take him a bit of time, I'm sure, to put his stamp on things. He won't have it perfect in five, six weeks or whatever he's had in the pre-season, but you know, I know the way he works. He'll have his team very well organised and difficult to beat, so we're expecting a real tough game. I know this is a, di a difficult question and you probably won't answer it. Um, no, I'll, I'll ask it in a slightly different way. Talking about goals and targets, and this is the stage of the season when people do look ahead at oh, what could happen this year. What are you looking for, especially in the first part of the season? Um, and where do you think we, we, you know, the, the club could get to? Um, well, in the first part of the season, we're looking to see has everybody gelled as the, as the new players that have come in, do they understand how we work and, and are they taking the messages on board? Obviously, we want to get off to as best a start as possible. Just said it's going to be a tough start with the teams that we're playing. But I think the overall message again will be just keep progressing as a club. So we done so well last year. We, you know, we massively overachieved where our budget said we should have finished. And this year, um, it'll be no different. We'll have to overachieve again to challenge for them top six places. So we we were so close last year, but ultimately we we were so far. So this year we need we've highlighted areas where we feel we can improve um, on the pitch and off the pitch as well. So I think we've we've done that in the pre-season and now the, the proof will be in the pudding whether we can go and challenge again and maintain and get the excitement around the, the place like we did last year but you know, we'll, we'll definitely give it our best and if we fall short it won't be for the one to try and. Just finally, we are what, what 48 hours away from it, it's going to be pretty much a sold out home park, it's going to be a sunny day, mm -hmm. how excited are you for it? Can't wait, um, it's always a sunny day first yeah, game of the season, it never fails but um, yeah, it's going to be great just to have all the fans back in. Um, it feels as though it was a long time ago, the last game of the season last year, and and yeah, we um, we can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to hear that that Janice song back on again and get the adrenaline going. I know that the first game of the season's coming up because my sleep has got a lot worse the last few days. I was playing every pass and every press and every scenario in my head last night, and woke up at twenty past five again, which is normal. So yeah, I know it's it's down to business. Top stuff, Gaffer. Thanks a lot. Thank you.